yes uh welcome uh to this youtube channel uh, i would like us to uh, have a look at this question of mathematics form two equations of a straight line the question as uh, read stud uh, find the acute angle that the line 2y equals to 4x plus 5 makes with y axis so now um as you know that uh, we can uh, draw this line on a on a Cartesian plane but before we draw this line on a Cartesian plane let us try and write this uh, the equation of this line in the form of y equals to mx plus c whereby m is a constant uh, representing a gradient and c is y intercept Now, uh, writing this equation on th in that form, we will have we will have um, we will have two y equals to four uh, x plus five. We want to remain with y alone here. We divide here by two. We divide by two. We divide by two. So we have y equals to two uh, x plus two point five. So two point five here is our y intercept. Now, moving on we now answer the question that we we want to find out the angle that um the line will make the acute angle that the line will make with the y-axis so now uh this line is a line uh that is on a cartesian plane let us consider having a cartesian plane in such a manner so uh one of the y-intercept is whereby this line would cross the x-axis uh, the, the, the y-axis sorry the y-axis so let us assume that this is the point 2.5 this 2.5 here the y-intercept so this line uh, since it has positive gradient it seems it is rising in such a manner so uh, that's a, a line so the the question is asking us to find out this angle up there that angle x let us call that angle x now um for us to find that angle x you realize that this is at the point origin that is 90 degrees and then we have this other angle let me call this angle angle y the angle that the line is making with the uh, x-axis so now for us to find to to find out the angle that the line is making with y-axis i would find us i would like us first of all to find the angle the line is making with the x-axis for us to get that as you know uh, that um, as you know that a gradient equals to change in y over change in x change that happened in the y-axis from here to here over the change that happens from here to here on the x-axis now using uh, so ka toa you also realize that tan of an angle let's say alpha is the same as opposite of a adjacent but in this case you realize that if we were to refer to this angle y here then as per this angle y this side is our opposite and this side is our adjacent which is actually opposite is as good as change in the y so opposite is as good as change in y over adjacent which is as good as the change that happened in the x-axis so change in x-axis so you realize now that now this change in y over change in x is as good as change in y over change in x that we had in gradient so in short tan y which is actually tan, uh, uh, tan alpha here tan y is as good as change in y over change in x and gradient is also gradient is also change in y over change in x and so if that is the case then it means now that if this and this are equal it means that tan y is as good as gradient gives us the gradient of the line so what is the gradient of this line we said m here is as good as uh, the gradient of this line is as good as the gradient of this line of which if you go to the equation now the gradient of this line is 2 so it will be tan y 
is as good as uh, two, which is the gradient. Then y is equivalent to two, which is the gradient. And so, if that is the case, then we come and say then inverse of two equivalent to y, and so y is equivalent to 63.4 degrees that is y now this is the, the y then we have been asked about the angle between the y axis and the line which becomes you see this is a, a triangle and here is 90 degrees here is 63.43 it means the remaining now will be uh, that is angle x will be the same as um, will be the same as 90 minus 63 Point four three, which gives us what? what does it give us? Um, it gives us twenty twenty six point five seven degrees. Thank you.